This is an update of my texture painting quick start guide for 2.93, which is currently the same for 3.0. It's for beginners, but not complete beginners. So make sure you understand some of the interface before taking this on. Do check out my website for more great content and the playlist on this channel, especially the texture painting playlist with lots of great tips. I'll also be posting on there a how to solve your texture painting problems in case you get stuck. My screencast keys will be down the right hand side here and we'll start with this hammer model here. If I go into edit mode you can see the topology, it's nice and simple and you can be nice and basic when you're texture painting objects. This technique will work for any model but be aware if you've got a really high poly model it may struggle. If you want to follow along you can download the hammer, link in the description. The first thing we need to do with any model is to unwrap it. That's to tell Blender where to put the 2D texture that we're going to paint on onto the 3D model. So we go to the UV editing workspace just here at the top. That brings up the UV image editor window and the 3D window over here. We're also into edit mode if you weren't already. I've got all my objects selected. If you haven't, press A to select all and then U to unwrap your model. And we're going to use Smart UV Project. It's nice and quick and automatic. Click on that. What you will need to increase is the island margin and I'll explain more about that in a second. I'll put it up to 0 0.05 and press OK. So if we look over here, the island margin is the space in between what are called these islands and that's the way it's split up the mesh. The reason you want some space in between is in case you want to reduce the texture size to put it into a game, for example, you might get a bit of overlap between the two. So that's the island margin down here. So our objects unwrap, we can now go to texture painting over here and it may look pink to start off with that's because it's got no textures as you can see on the side here so we give it a texture by pressing the plus sign here and base color I'll call this hammer color 2 because I've done this before and width I'm going to use 2048 by 2048 so a 2k texture so I can add a nice lot of detail and I can reduce it later on if I want to take this into a game the base color I can change that to let's say a mid gray because there'll be a fair bit of metal on this. So that's the most commonly used color. And I'll turn the alpha off because that's to do with transparency and we won't have any in this model. So I'll press okay and you can see it instantly turns gray. We can't actually see our texture over here. We have to go to the drop down just here and choose hammer color two or whatever you've labeled it. And I can zoom out and it's all gray at the moment. So in order to start painting, make sure you've got your brush selected up here. You've got your color down here. You've got the strength here and the brush size here. You can also press F to resize your brush and Shift F to change the strength. So I'll make my brush a bit smaller and I should be able to paint and test that out on my model. So you can paint away to your heart's content. Again, check out my playlist for more detailed hints like isolating areas, using different brushes and so on. Once you've finished your painting, you will want to make sure that you go up to image, save as, and save your image because the image is saved separately to the Blender file. So that was a quick start guide to texture painting. If you want to see the full painting of the hammer, that will be coming in a few days. Thanks for watching and I hope this helps.